think that's the right way. I think. Looks like it. Is there a way of getting up the comments on here? Not too sure how to do this. So uh, how do you get the comments up? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that is not what I wanted at all. Let's go on to the YouTube app and see if I can do it that way. Not done this before, so this should be fun. Do how do I do this? Not what I wanted. I switch to the actual account that I'm using. Yeah, there we go. Right, okay. Library videos. There we go. So is there a way of putting the comments up on this? Not too sure. Um, ah, camera fell down. Typical. Not what I wanted to happen. Let's just sort that out. Let's just sort this out. No, nope, that is the wrong way. Can I zoom out? I think that works. Looks all right. Okay. Uh, morning, everyone. I don't know how to get comments up on on here. I'm trying. Settings. Uh, no. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. We're just going to have to wing it. <laughs> just going to have to wing it. Right. Play around with this camera angle a little bit. See if I can get a better view. There we go, that, that's all right. Put it onto chat mode so I can see you. Right then. Is it still coming through? Right, okay. I'm not sure how to show comments on here, so. Not sure how to do this. There we go. Try it 
trying to get the comments up on the screen here. Oh well, we'll just judge it. So, welcome to uh, Hartfield Railway. Uh, first of a live stream downstairs. If you can see the live stream on the telly over there, that's basically just because I'm watching to make sure everything's okay. I did want the comments up on the screen, but it doesn't appear to want to put them up on the screen for some reason. But I am not sure why. So I am literally trying to get them up on the actual phone that I'm using. Somehow. Oh well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So, today I'm going to be building the Metcalf um, pub. Uh, coaching in. Um, obviously double R scale, HO scale. So that should be fun to do. Cost me £12 at my local model shop. So, uh, let's crack open, uh, see how to build this. So, crack open the top of this kit with my knife, because it's just a quick and easy way of doing it. Although, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's just uh, a little bit awkward at times. There we go. And open. Let's see what we've got. Anything left in there? No, put that to the side. Well, we've definitely got the instructions, and we've got all these different sheets. So sheet C, which looks like it's got the base. Some roofs and gables on and stuff. Card sheet for the interior. Oh, got the glazing sheet. So all the lovely windows. Sheet B, which looks like it contains the main walls. I've got another cardboard sheet. Got some scale ridges. Curtains and stuff. And then we've got sheet A, which has got other stuff on. More walls and stuff. Oh, and finally we've got this, which has got some... Well, it's got some uh, signs on it. So we get to choose what we call our wonderful coaching in. So that should be fun. That should be fun indeed. Right. Oh, the instructions, yippee doo da. What have we got here? Blah, 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 blah. Yep, okay. So the glue that I use is this Noble Craft Glue, a professional crafter's glue. It's just PVA, but it dries really quickly. I've got a new bottle. Also got a bottle of chocolate milk because we all need refreshments on the morning. I had coffee earlier. Can't be a bit of that. <laughs> right, so let's see what we have to do first. So we have to fit glazing. Oh, great. So following the instructions, we're using building A. Fit the glaze into the appropriate openings. Each glaze is marked for the building letter and position. If you're fitting curtains, remember to allow for blah, 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 blah. Okay, building A. So, which one is building A? Is this building A? It doesn't look like building A. I think building A is the one on the other sheet. So, let's see if we can find it. Which one was it again? Do, 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 do. It was this one here, building A. We are building C. See a building A anywhere? 
Well, judging by the picture here, it's got the two large windows. So I guess we're going to use this one. Right, okay. So we'll start by cutting this out. Another. Cutting out building A. I always do like Metcalf kits because they show you where you just need to just get your scalpel blade in just to release. Just to release it. And this should just push out now. Come on. Pull that scalpel down the middle just to release it from the middle. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, we'll put this to one side for now. We don't need that just yet. So let's pop out all the windows Yay. all these little bits of windows we'll just make a little scrap pile of card over here that we don't need that's what i usually do i just put them all to the side Just like this, there we go. Hold it to one side out of the way. And take out that inner section of the door. Like so. Right, okay, okay. So, door side tab, fold back, Turn and fix door side, hold in at right angle. Charles Smith, licensed to sell beers, wine and spirits. Hmm. Not too bad, so I'm guessing you just cut down here. Um, these need to all be folded back. So these are the door side tabs. So what I tend to do is just gently run a knife down them just to ease out the tabs a little bit not cutting through just just uh, emphasizing on this scoring a little bit just so they fold a little bit easier there we go one and two all right so they need folding back that needs folding back According to the picture, I've got to put these in at 90 degrees. So like that. And then use these from the windows to hold them in place, position like a triangle. That's going to be a bit tricky. All right. Let's get the glue open, shall we? Yay for glue. A little bit of a bigger hole. All right. So let's start with these back door tabs here. A little bit of a thingy there to take that off. There we go. Let's just start with this bit. Have I got a seal on this? Ah, there's a seal on it. That's why it's not coming out. <laughs> I suppose it keeps it nice and fresh. There we go. Right. Just do a little bit of glue here. And a little bit of glue there. Yippity doo da. Stick these down. Keep them as straight as I can. One little trick I like to use when gluing stuff down is I've got these heavy like glass mats, table mats, I just put them on top and it holds it in place. So it just 
helps keep it all in place basically. Now how am I going to do these? Because these need to stay up and they need to stay at this angle. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a bit of glue. Oh, it made a funny noise. Just up here. Hold them up. Put that in. Like so. I bend that backwards and just put that in its place. There we go. It's quite tricky actually, is that? Put some glue on. There we go. Bend that backwards. Put that in place. Now I think that should hold quite nicely. So, glazing sheet. Hello. Wow, look at all these here. So apparently they're all, they're all labelled. So, okay. Ground B, ground B, first floor, right. Do -do -do. Fit the glaze into the appropriate openings. Each glazing is marked with building letter and position. Very specific. Really, really specific, isn't it? Yeah. So, just taking a quick look at this, it looks like these two go on the main windows. And then we've got the attic windows, we've got the side windows, we've got the first floor windows. They're nice and flat now. Yeah. Okie dokie. Right. Let's get my rule out. So. Trying to work out which way these go. So ground B. These are two different sizes, but these are the same. So is one of these slightly wider? I don't know, is one slightly wider? That's about 10 mil. That's about 10 mil. Oh, wait, there's more buildings over there. Ah, that's, that's building B. So we need building A. Right, I'm with you now. So, this is going to be fun. How big is that? Uh, yeah, okay. It's about 20, that's about 20 mil. First rear, first rear, first rear, first front, first front. So those are the front. Okay. Um, I think I get it because you're going to put a bare window on the front of this. Which means if you put a bare window on the front, there's not really a need to put the um, glazing in there. That's fine. That's fine. Right. Let's cut some of these glazings out. Cut some of the glazings out. There we go. So we're going to do the first front. Just getting these two in first, I think. Would be the best thing to do. Quite cut that one. There we go. Tiny drop of glue up here. Go on each side. Don't need an awful lot of it to be fair. And how I like to do this is I use these uh, little tweezers. 
So what you can do with these is it saves you from getting all your hands sticky. It also allows you to perfectly position it without really messing it up. Just check that straight on the front. Fits out nice and straight. There we go. Beautiful. Um, right, attic. One, two, and three attic ones. So we'll do the three attic ones, which have one, two, three. Do the attic ones like this. You can use scissors to cut these out, by the way. I just like to use a knife because it's more precise. At least for me, it's more precise. And by using a metal ruler on it, you can actually make the edges really straight. Right. Right, right, right. I can see comments popping up on the phone, but I, I can't actually see them long enough to reply. Um, <laughs> so it's a little bit annoying. I mean, I want to see them on that screen, but I don't know how to do that. It It's really annoying. So I'm not ignoring everybody. I, I, I do apologize. I'm not ignoring you. I am just trying to, I'm trying to work out how to do the streaming stuff as well. Go one window. Two windows, three windows. We'll just double check they're straight again. Just to make sure that they're nice and straight and in the frames properly so they're not all lopsided. Yeah, windows. Right, so we've got to do one, two, three, four, five, six more windows. So we've got one, two, three. So those are the top three. That must be that one because it's smaller. That one and that one. Right. Okie dokie. So we'll do the three top ones. Should do the three top ones. By the way, how is everybody this morning? Good morning here. Like I said, I can't really see comments, but you know. I thought I'd ask. You never know. Hope you've all had a nice cup of coffee this morning and uh, some breakfast and stuff. Put that to one side. Eh, don't move. There we go. Wonderful. <laughs> I just saw someone said that these kits are a nightmare. <laughs> they can be, but I I find them oddly relaxing. And I don't know why. It, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the whole idea of actually making something. And this, you can personalise them as well, which is really cool. So I know people take hours and hours and hours and hours doing these kits, but I'm, I've actually got them pretty quick. I mean, I've made enough of them. In the railway behind me, it's got a lot of them. Oh, I do. Hello. Wow, they're all cockeyed, aren't they? Look at that. Let's just do that. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Right, last three windows. I mean, look, look at that awkward shape that they've been put in. That's just, that's just, that's just awkward. Really, Metcalf. Door keeps coming loose. Stay where you are. I'll do that. 
like an L shape, if anything, which is really annoying. <laughs> There we go. How annoying are these? I mean, glazing is annoying in general when you do it in kits. I don't know about any of you guys, but have you actually ever cut yourself with this stuff? It hurts. Like, not deliberately, obviously, you know, when you've been handling it, it's like, ah, you stab yourself in the thumb or something. It gets annoying. <laughs> right, 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 in here. We'll put the little window in first. We'll put the baby window in first, shall we? Just trying to make sure I get all these the right way up. Because I don't know if you can see very well. But they've got like little indents just here and there. It's like a, a window that you push up. So I'm going to make sure they're in the right way. Because I have been known to put windows in upside down by accident and then gone, ah, crap. <laughs> Later on. And then go, oh, that window's upside down. That's not very good. Now I'm going to have to rebuild that. Let's have a look. Right, okay, so that's the glazing in. That's mm, getting there. Just put that over there for now. Well, what's next too? Oh, figure two. The one thing I like about Metcalf kits is the Cumbi diagrams. It's like work. It's like getting something from Ikea. Or Ikea, as it says on the advert these days. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. There are two grey cut card sheets containing six inner floors and strengtheners that all look similar. Gee, thanks. I've got the two lines on. Fix it to the wall like that. Okie dokie. So that must be... Oh, there's this one. And there's that one. And that one's got the little cut out. So I think it's that one that we're going to need. Tweezers. So these are inner card sections. Here we go. Okay. So If I take that diagram and I line it up to this, like so. So I've got to put that in like that. And then you fix these together. Oh, look, it's starting to look a bit like a building. Right. Okay, so get some glue on this. And we'll get some glue on this. There we go. So where about roughly is this going to be? It's just literally above the doors. Put that round and right, hey, oh, no, not a piece of guard. First off, doing this 3D like this, we need wrap this around like so. A, 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 A. Now, now, there we go, and then wrap that around to make. Oh, look, we made a box. Congratulations, we made a box. Push them together. The good thing about this glue that I'm using is that it's actually really quick drying, so I don't spend a lot of time holding card 
and I don't really need clamps. Right, so there should be a back door somewhere and there should be a front door somewhere that we need to attach. So where are they? Not on that one. Building a front door, building a back door. Is the front door really just black? Oh, okay then. I mean, there's no other doors, or is that just, is that just the doors? That's just the doors. Alright, well, okay then. So we'll put the doors on. So let's put the front and the back doors on. And there's also a door step, apparently. Emergency in a gable wall, right? Oh, okay. Do -do -do -do. Let's put the front door on, shall we? It's just a big wooden door. I mean, I, I expected something a little bit more fancy. I'll be honest with you, with it being like, you know, a pub. Uh, I suppose that's what you get, you get what you get, isn't it? Does that look about right? You know, it's not going to stick because they put glue in the right place. We'll just put the glue in here, put it on the actual piece of itself. Very delicate process with glue. Put a very thin layer in there. How does that look at the front? I just double check that looks all right. Straighten it up a little bit. Yeah, that looked look, look too bad to be fair. And now just to put the back door on this little green door. Doors, 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 putting on the doors, because places need doors. There we go. All right. Hey, no coming off. Not allowed. All right. Dry. I was going to put it on the floor in. What? Gee, thanks. Okay. Right, put it on the floor in. So now there should be another floor going inside there, which is another one of those ones. I think it's this one here. Yippee, skippy, yippee, skippy, doo -dah. Let's do the next floor. Because we need multiple floors for some apparent reason. We should have known that before I stuck it together. Oh well, this stuff happens, you'd have to learn with it. I'm actually going to make the, uh, the nozzle a little bit better because it was coming out really, really thin. There we go, that's a bit better. Right. Oh, yeah, pop of glue. Now i got to get that in there. Fun dabby dozy. In you go. And in you go. Can't tell if that's going to stick, but hey, it's in place. It's in position, so. I'm sure it's going to be fine. It'll be fine. Right, building the... <laughs> I love how it's, because it's not like building the dorm windows, it's building the attic bits. That is the actual what it's saying. It's, it's building attic bits, which is kind of weird, but it just is. <laughs> I'm still trying to work out how to get comments up on this. I really don't know how to do it. because so I would like to see what you're saying. Um... No, 
that's not the way of doing it. That is also not the way of doing it, although I have just got the stats up for some reason. I don't know how I'm doing that. I don't know how I'm doing that. Okay. Um, anybody know how to see the stats in the YouTube app? <laughs> or the uh, the comments in the YouTube app? Because I would like to see what you're saying. Um, anyone? No ideas? Oops, I've just pressed something. Sometimes I'm not very good with this. Oh, hey, what have I done? Ah, it'd be all right. Right. The yellow inner ridge brace fits up against the gable wall. There. Garment's folding at right angles. Well, that makes sense. Gable joiner is fixed in place. Right, so I'm looking for inner, I'm looking for the inner ridge brace, inner ridge brace, building a inner ridge brace, let's cut a doodle all that out shall we, and what else do we need, gable joiner, Where's that? Ah. Attic gable wall joiner, used on building A. I can I can see some of the chat, but I just can't see it on that screen. I have to look at the phone all the time and like the comments only appear for like a few seconds. So how do I get it up on the YouTube screen on the TV? I've tried like pressing all the buttons and it doesn't work, which is a bit annoying. So I was hoping to get some feedback and you know, not to talk to you guys. Well, I'm talking to you, just I can't, you just can't see how you're responding, I suppose. Oh, okay, well, um, let's see if this works a mark, uh, let me just try something, okay, did that work, am I back, I think I'm back, oh well, it's kind of working. I don't know what I did. I think I may have broken it for a moment there. Sorry about that. So they go in like this. Do, 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 do. Come on, in you go. There we go. In it goes. Right, so this apparently goes like that somehow. Okay, let's give that a try. Oh, lots of glue. I should stand that up in the middle there. When done, put to one side and continue with building B. Mm. All right, so we'll put that to one side. Right, 
building B. We're building B. Yes, we are. We're building B. <laughs> Which I think is it's this building, isn't it? This is no, that's where you're building C. Where's building B? Double glare or building B. Building B. It's one with the two thingies on. Okie dokie. Wow, this is a bit different, isn't it now? Right. This building builds up the same way as building A, but the glaze and then the curtains. Make sure the curtains don't get in the way, blah, blah, blah. Right, okay. So it's basically exactly the same what I've just done. Okay. Cut to release. Cut to release. That one lower there might have to cut down there actually. Ah, there we go. Out it yeah, comes. I did not want to come out. Oh, time to do more glazing, people. Yay for glazing. I found the really big windows at last. Oh, I forgot one. <laughs> Where did I put the glazing sheets? Ah, oh, there they are. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We've got six windows. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is where the big windows come into play. Which is why I was wondering was on the other building, but it wasn't. Right, let's cut out building B windows. Yippee. I think next time what I'll do is I'll get a laptop or something so that I can see the comments as they're coming in because they don't appear long on my phone, which is a bit annoying. I thought that they'd come up on the screen, but they don't. But that's okay, as long as you guys are enjoying yourself and watching me struggle with this. If you call this struggling. <laughs> Oops, bent it away from the ruler a little bit then. This knife's a bit awkward this morning. Now, now, now. Cutting out the windows again. Yay for windows. Is it all these glazing sheets need so much cutting out? Well, at least we get windows in, I suppose, because uh, there is the option to put curtains in, but if you saw the recent video with me doing the lighting on the railway, I, um, I'll eventually be lighting this up anyway, so. There'll be eventually be lights in here anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Ooh, my phone just buzzed at me. Not quite sure who that was. Two half six. Right, let's put the windows in, shall we? Putting the windows in. I mean, it's a little bit hard to get the ones with the curve on the top wrong, right? <laughs> oh, nearly put the one upside down. That wouldn't be a good idea, would it? Come here. 
windows are escaping me. Just line these up again. Like so, like so. There we go. Right, so apparently this builds in a very similar way to what we've just done. So, um, let's try and figure out which sections we're going to need. Oh, I've just knocked that window away. How dare you run away from me? Naughty window. Strengtheners have no markings. Well, that's just great, isn't it? The strengtheners have no markings. It's got to be that one, isn't it? It's got to be that one. I imagine so. Oh, let's find out. <laughs> See, well, I'm not too sure about this now because it's like these strengtheners aren't marked. So, yeah, lucky guess. Good, just guess. Let's see what happens. I think they look about right, but they've got they've got little holes in here that you can need to cut out for the window to see to see through. So, I think they're the correct ones. What do you think, guys? They seem correct. We've got the little holes. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. There we go. So what I'm guessing is that this big one, it goes on the bottom. And then that one must go at the top. Yeah, that's about right. So according to the image, if I do that. Oh, right, so they attach together to form that, and this must sit inside. Right, okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this now. I think. So I'll put some glue on this, put some glue on this side. I believe that goes on the bottom and it just it actually fits the glazing really well. That's actually quite well designed. And then that must wrap around. Right? Am I right? Nope, no, no. Did it go on that one? Ah, it goes that way round, right? It goes that way round because this becomes the top for them to be glued together. Hey, look, we're cooking with gas. I think. <laughs> I had it on the wrong side. Oh dear, rookie mistake there, Will. To be fair, it's nine in the morning, what do you expect? Well, it's more like 10 now, right? And then this comes up and around. Ta-da, we built another box. We built another box. Aren't we special? Stick, God damn it! Stick down. Stay, stay, stay. Right, so now I've got to fit building A over there to building B. Okay. So I've got to fit the yellow gable wall brace. Building B, upper gable, wall brace, apparently. Okay. My gosh, will you just stick? Come on. Stop being silly. Stay. I know. Stay. Right, let's 
Can, does this pop out? I just need to cut this. It's cutting out. So this sits over the window. So it's got to go over the actual window itself. Oh, right. Okay. So that goes on there. All right. This little gap here must be for the window, so you can still get lighting and stuff in there. So we just fit that in there. I keep knocking the attic window out, which isn't a good idea. Oh no, we've knocked that window out. Oh, I can't get to that now. Oh. Going to annoy the hell out of me. Right, I'll have to just get my knife in just to fix that window. That's annoying. I fixed it. I've got to re glue this now. That's annoying. Oh, well, luckily, the glue's not that. It's not that badly dry. It's not that badly dried. Still not perfect. Come on, down you go. And of course, a little bit. I am a bit of a perfectionist with these kits. I will not lie. <laughs> I can be a bit of a uh, perfectionist when it comes to making these look nice. But that's just me. I, I accidentally knocked that window when I was gluing it together. So, well, it works. We fixed it, we recovered, it's fine, everything's fine, um, it's good, it's good, it's chocolate milk time. Right, so, that has to attach to that. Okay, how? Excuse me, do you mind not falling over? Thank you very much. So this attaches to here, so it's level at the back. Right. Okay, so how am I going to do it? Shall I do it that way or shall I do it that way? So when fixing, make sure the rear wall sits flush. Well, that kind of makes sense to me, so we'll put some glue on here. I probably didn't need to go that high. So it needs to sit flush at the back, so we might as well do it from the back. Like so. And sit it down and do it. Use the lines to make it flush. Use the there we go. It's looking all right. Yeah, that works. That's nice. Right. I, I love this glue, by the way, because this, this looks like standard PVA glue, but it's, it dries really fast. And when I mean fast, I mean the windows that we did earlier, most of the stuff that we've done in this building A section have already dried. So it's already pretty solid. So I'd recommend that for if you're doing any sort of like stuff like this i mean it really does a good job you can find it on amazon that's where i get it from so i'd recommend that glue because it's really good pva it's strong and it, it dries within minutes i mean we put them together just now and it's already stuck so <laughs> goes to show right 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 i'm not doing the chimney pots just yet um fit the roof Descriptive, Metcalf. Descriptive. Which roof? I've on this one. <laughs> They're on this sheet. That's why I can't find them. Right. So I need to put in the front ridge base, apparently. 
And if you notice, where the heck is that? Front ridge brace, building B. Looks like I have to put it in after I put in the actual roof itself. The dormer side walls may need fixing in place using a bit of waste card. Okay. So, yep, yeah, that is the roof that I need. So let's cut the roof out. It's not the only cut I need to make for this. Down the side as well. It's really unusual shape, isn't it? Put that to one side. Bring our little cutting house around. I tend to just scar it in place like that. So this apparently just sits on top. I don't look right to me. I mean, I put that in the wrong way around. That's why that needs to go that way. Idiot. And they're going, that doesn't fit. Oh, if I put it in the right way, it might. No problem. It's fine. We all make silly little mistakes sometimes. It's just me that has to do a live stream. Duh. Right. Fit in the roof. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep, yep. Put a bit on the top of here and a bit on top of there. A bit down here. Uh, there we go. Right. It's just the awkward bit. I've got to get these in without bending them in too far. So if we go in from this angle, they should line up and then we flip it round. And on she goes. Push it down, nice and secure, nice and secure, make sure it fits nice and snugly. Snug as a bug in a rug. There we go, look at that. Hey, stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay. No, okay. If we just push it down so it's all nice and secure. Yep, that's stuck. How nice. It's not quite stuck on this side, though, so... Just putting a little bit of pressure on. Just so the card bonds. There we go. Beautiful. Right, so I've got to put that ridge thingy in now. Which is this unusual shaped yellow section thing. And apparently this sits on the roof to this dormer window. So this should be interesting. This must support another roof that sits. Well, obviously another roof because there's no roof to put on, clearly. Must keep the front of the building straight so that the roof can sit nicely. Make sure it's nice and secure. There we go. I saw someone saying about the roof, about the glue not running. Yeah, it's uh, this stuff really thick. <laughs> For PVA, it's quite thick, but it's really quite strong and it stays where it's meant to stay, which is it's kind of nice. I do like this stuff. I mean, I've, I've gone through like eight bottles of this stuff before. Um, this is a brand new bottle because. I don't know if you can see in the background the two bottles over there. They just they've got a bit in, but I wanted a nice new bottle just for the live stream because and you don't see me going ch -ch 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 trying to get it out all the time. Yeah, because that could probably be a bit of a pain. <laughs> right, so we've put that in. 
um i'm not doing the chimney pots yet because they're an absolute pain in the backside and we're not at that point yet we want to figure seven bay windows all right so we'll put this over there to dry 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 quicker okay gray strengtheners Woo! so i'm going to build the bay windows and they're going to go on the front apparently oh hey, what was that just a bit of scrap cardboard so we've got the dormers uh the farmers sorry uh the chimneys we've got the walls there's the bay windows there they are look um the bay windows are held together by grey strengtheners. They are in located on sheet A. Oh, it tells you where it is. Oh, look, they're there. How lovely. Now, oh, bay windows are so annoying to do because you have to do them at an angle. It's going to sound weird, but when you are putting the glazing in and you've got to score the glazing, and then the glazing doesn't quite score correctly, so you end up having to redo it all. And it just takes so much time. <laughs> it's just so annoying. <laughs> you just you just are there going, why won't you stick? <laughs> I just cut that section out, and I don't know what that section does. Oh. Apparently it's the wall bracket. Remind me that's the wall bracket. I'll put that there. So I might need that later. <laughs> Over there. Right. Oh, here we go. The dreaded bay windows. Also, these you get these on like the uh, terraced houses and stuff. But I only did a few of them before I lost my patience with them. And I was like, nope, I'm not doing that again. Too much hassle. But this kit needs them because there's no windows for those big bits. Right, and now I need these little grey bits, which make the inside bits. Come on. There we go. One. Come on. There we go. There's two. <sighs> so we have a bit that attached to the top, because these are joined together. Like so, and they make like a little, like a little jigsaw up here like that. And you got to stick a bit to that, and you got to stick a bit at the bottom, and then you got to put the glazing in. Yippee! So this is the bit that I was on about. The actual glazing for the bay windows comes in one section like this. So when you're scoring it, you've got to be careful not to actually cut it. <laughs> Which when you do cut it, and then you're like, ah oh, no, I messed that up. It's not a fun thing to do at all. Because you end up cutting the section that you should have scored. And then it becomes even more fiddlier. And it's just, you know, it's just a pain in the backside. It really is. Right, so let's try and score these windows. I scored them. I didn't bloody cut them out though, did I? Come on. What was that about? Talking about scoring them, we need to cut them out of the sheet first. Idiot. <laughs> I mean, well done. I scored them correctly, but you know, while they were still attached to the sheet. I know, you probably all call me an idiot right now, right? You're probably going, <laughs> he messed up again. Well, let's try and emulate that. <laughs> Without, let's just cut a little bit of excess off top there, because I don't need that. Without screwing it up. So literally all I've got to do is you've just got to just run your knife down that dotted line without physically cutting the damn thing which is i don't know about you guys but my knives are always very very sharp because 
when you're doing modeling there's nothing worse than having a blunt blade when you're doing cutting stuff like this and you got i just bent me back aha look at that come on there we go see that's what i'm on about and the also annoying thing is is that sometimes that they just lift away from the side of the ball so you're like why I don't like bay windows. I do not like bay windows on model kits. It just seems to be the English thing to have on um, um, everything. Left them back. There we go. And then that back. There we go. Right, this is doing a bit of the fun part. Me trying to get these into there, get all this shit perfect. So, how in the hell do I do this? Start by folding the corners full, and next fold the three tabs on top and fix them underneath. So we've got two, we've got one on the one on each. Right. Ba -ba -ba. Put a spot of glue on the underside of this one. Might as well start from the very top. Now I've got to line these up now so it stays flat. Oh, it's so fiddly. Come on. One on the top like this. Fiddle, 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 fiddle. Stay in place. And I'm well aware that I'm on YouTube right now, so I can't physically swear at this stuff today. If you were, if you were not, if I was not live streaming on YouTube, there would be much profanity when doing these sort of kits. I will be using very colourful language at times. But there you go, look. So you've got to put it on top like that. you then got to put one in the bottom, and then you've got to put the glazing inside. I know. Really annoying, right? The glazing needs to sit perfectly inside. So what I tend to do is I tend to put the glazing in next so it retains its shape. Don't need too much glue. Slot this in. And you go. Ta da! My window. And now, just to put this in the very bottom, just to secure the bottom shape off. There we go. Bay window number one. El completo. Leave it over there to dry. Now I've got to do that all again. Typical. They're all right if you've got one or two of them. But when you've got a row of Terry's thousand and you've got like six, and you're like, uh, <laughs> can get a little annoying. Right, we'll bend that down, bend that down, bend that down. Do, 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 do. Push these together while getting it all nicely aligned. It's the mo once it's once this top bit's in and it's all together like a little jigsaw, it's actually all right. But it's just getting it all aligned in the first place and stuck down properly, which is the annoying part. You can't get sometimes you can't get it in correctly. That's what she said. Man, I've been watching too much of The Office recently. It's a good show. There we go. See what I mean? You've got to get that bit perfectly all lined up before you can physically 
continue. There we go. Let's get the next glazing in the pack. Wait for these bay windows to be in and over and done with. Maybe a wee bit too much glue in there. Just, just, just scrape some of that out. Don't need that much glue. Let's put some in the bottom actually because we can use some to stick on the, the lower section. Right, pop that in. Okay. Hey, no running away. Now we put in the bottom section. There we go. Come on, in you go. Push the walls up so it all meets. I do like the Metcalf products. They are very well designed and they do look really good. It's just sometimes they can be a little bit fiddly. Right, I've done my bay windows. What's next? Bay window roof. Oh, well, wonderful. So I've got to attach these to the front of the pub. And put in the bay window roof, wherever that is. Where's the bay window roof? Bay window roof end fits under against the bare window roof end fits under the roof up against the end of the inner support. By the way, guys, this came out in 2003, so this is a really old kit. Not that I bought it in 2003, obviously, but. Yeah. Bay window roof, anybody? Nope, not on that one, I don't think. No, I don't look like it's on that one. It's on this one. Ah, bay window roof section. Here we go. Bay window roof end. That little triangle there. So what I need to do is need to cut this out. Yank. Right. And then put this little black triangle out because that's apparently going to sit at the end of L roof the roof somehow. Come on, there you come. Tiny, tiny bit. I hope the busy. I've taken a little bit of extra paper from the back off there. We'll just trim that off. Right, so the bay window inner roof supports a bay window roof inner support sits along the top of the bay. So there's an inner support for the roof. I've also got to put the dormer roofs on yet. Did that tell me to do that last time? It didn't, it just expects you to know. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, bare window inner roof support, that's what I need. Well, it's just like, oh yeah, it's now got a roof on, not that we told you to put it on. It's just, it's just on, it's there. Right, fold this tab to fix the front of building A along the top of the bay windows. Tab falls down to this edge fixes along the window tops. Put them on there. That's what I mean by the glue dry quickly. Right, so in putting the bay windows into the here. So we put a little bit of glue on here, a little bit of glue on there, on there, and on there. May seem excessive, but well, you'll see why. You got it to physically hold them in place. So there we go. Just wipe down the side here. And we put that on here. Like so. There we go. And they fit quite nicely. Just line them up with the bottom. Like so. Right. Okie dokie. 
So this sits and it kind of makes like a little triangle from what I can gather. I'll just score that a little bit better because that's not very nicely scored. There we go. There we go. So that makes like just a mount basically. So it's on top like that for a mount for the windows. So it's almost got to be like nearly like on top of itself, which is funny. Oh, hey, no moving. Naughty, naughty windows. Naughty, naughty windows. Not allowed to do that. Let's run some glue down here. And that sits above the windows like that. Like so. A push with my knife just to secure it in place. There we are, look. It just sits like that. Don't know how well you can see some of this writing, but it's really kind of cool that it's got like little details and that built into the actual physical thing. And then apparently we've got to attach this bottom bit to the top of these windows we've just put in. So I'll put a bit of glue on the top of these windows. I'm doing it like this so that I can see them. Oh, hey up. No, no. Hold that in place. And that's a little bit of a good extra support actually. And then the roof is apparently sitting on top of the air. And the little bit that we had before, which is over here, goes at the end just to finish it off. So while those are drying, I'm going to put these roofs on. Okay, so I'll put that roof to one side, along with its little end bit dry well i put on building b gable roof which wasn't actually in the instructions it just presumes you're going to put them on and then these are the dollar roof section so these are those two sections to put on as well one Yay! We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're on what hour and twenty minutes, and we've got quite a bit of it done. We've got we've still got another building in the courtyard and that to do. So, oh yay! <laughs> I didn't actually think we'd be on this long, but hey, hey, so. depends how long it takes to do the kits, I suppose. I mean, this is quite a big kit compared to what I've done before. Let's put this roof on. I don't think we're doing too bad, are we, guys? I look for comments and no one's talking. <laughs> there we go, that fits quite nicely. Put the dorms on now, I think. Excuse me. Do you mind? Down. Down, down, down. Stay down. Oh, come on. Stay down. Stay down, stay down. Thank you. A little bit. I have, I have to put a little bit of glue just underneath where it attaches to the... Uh, to the physical roof itself, just so it's got a little bit of extra strength. So that it can just hold nicely. When the damn thing stares down my eyes. Right, fold it really badly. There we go, like that's what it sits on top. There we go. Fold it a little bit better. There we go. Come on, stay down. B. 
beat that. Yeah, you've got to be a little bit creative at times. Oh, that's a lot of glue dripping down. Don't need that dripping down. There we go. Roofs are on. Yay. Beautiful. Yeah, can't get off now. Nice in the way. Aha. I win, you lose. Right. So these, excuse me, do you mind? Come on. Stop being stupid. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. <laughs> it's really not having it, is it? Right. Seem to find you're stuck. Right, let's put the roof on. Excuse me. I just say that and I curse it because it jumps back, back up again. How typical is that? I just do it and it's like, nope, <laughs> joke's on you. Can't even really use this to keep it down because it doesn't really affect it. That was loud. Right. <coughs> That's fine. That's fine. Stay down, stay down. Just this one. These, these two are fine. It's just this one that seems to be a pain in the bum to death. Let's put the uh, the bay windows on, anyway. The bay, uh, the bay roof on. So that little just attaches like that. It's actually starting to look like a nice little, little building now, isn't it? And then at the end here, there's like a triangle bit, which just literally sits under here. So this is going to be a bit tricky, especially since I'm not quite sure how to get this in. So what I'm going to use are my tweezy tweezies. These little tweezers come right in handy at times, just to get into the very little corners. Come on. Do not be a pain. There we go. So, that's all drying nicely. Try and get some of the glue marks off. So this is, this pub, little coaching, is going to go opposite where the church is on the railway. Because we've got to go for a beer after going to church, right? Because it's going to go on the corner, basically. And um, then I'm going to extend the school playground up to it, as I discussed in the other video the other day. So that should be fun. So while this bit is drying, I go to the other instruction sheet, because we've done everything on this instruction sheet. Bye bye. So we now build. Am I on figure 12? Building. The rear building. So we'll put this to one side. Let's try. So we have done four sheets, four sides of A4, two left. So we're not doing too bad, really. At this rate, we'll be finished by lunch. Right, so I'm going to have to build this rear building. This is the one with the archway in it, and I'm looking forward to seeing how to do the archway. Do, do, do. Down there, down there. I think it's going to have a very similar construction to what we've already had. It seems to be a reoccurring. Oh, I just put it in our foot for those. Seems to be a reoccurring theme. Strengthening card C's identified with a V embossed in the centre. Well, you know what time it is. We've got a new building. It means we've got to put more bloody windows in. Yay, windows. And a door. So that means cutting more of that dreadful glazing plastic. I mean, it looks good, but 
just don't stab yourself with the corner of it because it really does hurt. Right, so I've got to push these in. <coughs> the passageway sidewalls are folded back and left loose at this stage. Right, okay. Windows first. So I've got two shed windows left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Yippee, skippy diddle -doo. Here we go, more glazing time. It's like some sort of Saturday morning television show. It's glazing time. Let's get these big ones done first. Let's get these ones out of the way first so the little ones can be done in a second because they're a little bit trickier and a little bit more fiddly. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Yeah, there we go, that's two. That one didn't quite cut correctly, so I'll just do that one again. By the way, is the camera angle and everything okay? I'm not sure if it if it looks okay for you guys. I mean, I can see it here, but I'm kind of concentrating on looking down at the uh, down at the cutting mat. So, oh, that's really awkward. They're really really small. <laughs> I might just try and do these freehand actually. I usually wouldn't recommend doing stuff like this freehand. If you've got a steady hand, these are just so tiny that it's easier to do it like this. Do it. Yeah, the only two windows I've got now left of the shed, apparently. Right, let's get these in. So, what do I do here? So, this is obviously a door. So, this needs to be folded back and glued because Metcalf have this thing about folding doors back. <coughs> that need cutting to release it. That needs cutting to release it. So does that. Very nearly lost the edge on that. It's okay, I've got spare blades. So, I need the other back doors, I believe, or the side doors. Uh, building C door. Right, okay. So then, guys, right, what colour should we have? So is it, are we doing green at the back and then brown at the front, maybe? I think that makes a logical decision, doesn't it? It doesn't really matter, but... We did green at the back on the other one, so we might as well do green at the back on this one. We've also got another doorstep. So we just work out which way this is going around. So this is building A and building B. So this will come around like this and attach to there. So this is going to be the front and this is going to be the rear. So brown needs to go on this one here. So brown needs to be here. So brown on this side and green on that side. Got it. Let's get the little door holes open, shall we? And glued in position. Yeah. 
Yank, yank. Time for the magic mat to come out, I think. It's amazing what some old cluster mats can do. I just put in pressure on it like this. It actually keeps it nice and flat. Ta-da! Make it nice and even as well. Oh, I've twisted that one a little bit. Ta-da! Right. <coughs> Let's put our windows in. Our windows in. So we've got one, two, three. Our windows, our little windows. Excuse me, do you mind staying down? Thank you. Stick the hell down and stay down. Make sure I'm putting these the right way up because the last thing you want is for them to be the wrong way up. Oh, I just got glue all over that one. Wipe that off with my finger. Just line these up again so they're nice and aligned. And just check it every now and again, making sure people are still actually alive. It looks all alive out there. All right, ground big. Ground big must be that one. Because that's the only big one on the ground. It must be because those are really, really tiny. Yeah. There's another, and another. I'm going to line these up in a second. Don't worry. I always find it easier to line them up from the side you're going to see them from, so that you know it's all going to look all right when you're looking at the building and there's no like window frames that are really cockeyed or wonky. That's one thing that annoyed me when I started doing these kits, put windows in. And accidentally made all one, one or two windows a little bit wonky. It was really annoying. That's the attic, and those are two ground ones. Right. I wouldn't exactly call that the attic. I mean, I call it the first floor. Okay, if it's an attic, it's an attic. I suppose it's above the uh, it's above the little archway thing, isn't it? So I mean, you could class that as an attic, maybe. Not too sure on that one. If I'm honest with you. I mm, suppose you could. These are a bit tiny, so use my knife to get them in position. Oh, we're nearly done with all these windows. And we're going to put the doors on that. I just, oh, I'm so glad I did drop that then. So scared I was going to drop that. Uh, yeah, they all look good. Right, we'll put these doors on now. So we had green on this side, didn't we? Good. And we had brown on this side. I really hope I didn't put on that, that one upside down. Double check. No, that looks all right to me. That looks all right to me. I look all right to you. Seems okay. Right. So, I'm looking for the V ones. So I've got these two strengthened sections. It's got V and V. V and V. 
you need to go over there out of the way because you are still not being in Eustace yet. So I'll get to you later. There we go. Yep, that works. And this works. Don't need that anymore. Put that out of the way. Cut these little sections out, these strengthening cardboard sections. Don't need that anymore. Right, so let me have a look. So we have two sections. We've got one with a little window in and we've got one with a cutout in. Uh, I think the one with the cutout in is the one that goes upstairs by the looks of things. Look at this image. That one goes like that. So if I've got it down like this in front of me. that goes like that which means this goes like yeah that's right because that fits the windows right here we go again internal strengthening sections way hey flaws because we all need flaws We'll get that little section in like that and stand it up, I think. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. None of that. Right. That works. Let's get this section in, shall we? Get the internal sections in and then we will then get to the next section around. Hey, what's going on here now? Made a cock up of this, Anna. Come on, get in. There we go. Bring that around quickly and to doom. Yeah, we got a box. We got another box. We got another building. If I leave that like that. Right, so these doors, what about the doors part or anything? Is there anything that goes into those doors? Oh yes, there is. Fit the passageway in the walls. There's inner walls for the passageways? Oh there is, it's in the floor. It's in the brick. So you've got to fit that in so it all fits nicely. Passageway in the walls, eight feet on the walls that fold around. Okie dokie, so we're going to put these down like this, and that down like that, and that down like that, and that down like that. And then we're going to put these walls in the inside of the archways. <coughs> to finish the archways. So they sit behind here. Right, okay. Thinking out a best way to do this. It's probably like this, isn't it? Which stood up like this. So that goes in like that. And that pushes in and that pushes in. Am I doing that right? I think that's how it's supposed to do it. That's how it looks with the diagram. It works. It does the job, I suppose. Let's fit behind the walls, so I'm fitting behind the walls. Let's fit that behind the walls. It's a little bit tricky this at times. Come on, in you go, in you go.
There we go. And you've got like a little archway in there, look. Kind of cool. Cool. So I have now got to put in some of this other giggly stuff. Uh, building C, inner gable wall support bracket. It needs to go in here. I suppose that's to support the roof. I think. Oh, there's only one door stuff left on that now. So we'll do this. Yink. Yink. Aha. And that sits in like that. Sit in like that. Oh, the neighbours at home. How nice. So now this apparently attaches to the back of that. Okay. We're building it. We are getting there. We are slowly getting there. That goes onto the back of here. See, look, we're finally getting something that resembles a building. Well, at least a larger building than what we had before. That does actually fit quite snug, actually, without any glue. But of course, we've got to glue it in place. So let's get some glue on the end of here. And snugly fit that in. I don't really want to turn it that way up. Don't the windows keep annoying me. Like that. Take its position. Take your positions. There we go. That should be quite nice. Uh, and then we'll put a roof on, apparently. A roof on. Yeah, okay. Roof time. I had somebody just walk past, walk past my window. Not quite sure who that was. Right. To release some sheet, cut along this line, put roof onto that building. Well, she was delivering something to the post box. I'm not quite sure what that was. I'll go check that out later. That's a bit weird. Okay. Moving along. Rear building C roof. So this fits on top of here and we're finally getting something that looks like the actual coaching in. I'm quite happy with that. So we're just going to bend this a bit more so that it sticks properly. Put a little bit of glue in here. And a little bit of glue on here. And a little bit of glue on the underside here just so that the top of it sits nicely. And then fix this to the top up here. Like so. That's not too bad. We finally got a building. Yay. And now we come on to the, the courtyard and the base bits and all that wonderful jazz. But we've not got long to go. We've not got long to go. And I've still got a few people watching, which, you know, that's nice. That is very nice, I suppose. Quick drink. So, this is the fun part. This is why I attach it to the base, which I'm not actually going to use. <laughs> 
I have to attach the base because it's part of the kit. But I will be cutting away the base around the edge eventually when it goes on the railway. Because of the way it is. So this is the base. And obviously you can see you've got the shape of it all on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it goes on that way. I'm going to run some mm -hmm. glue around the edge. And get it all positioned nicely in its spot. There we go. Oh, this is the fun part, getting this bit on and it works. And it sat on its base. There we go. How adorable is that now? That is cute. Right, we have now got to do... Uh, oh, God, we've got chimneys to do and everything. Wow, okay. Chimneys. Fun times. So, we're going to do the back courtyards. Courtyard time. So the courtyards are made up of different sections. So I need to get the courtyard sections here. We'll just put that over there when that dries and sticks to its little base. As it should. I always find these little courtyard sections to be a little bit. A little bit annoying at times, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you, it is a little bit annoying at times. So, what have we got? We have got Two of the shed, oh God, I've got more shed things to do. Right, these are the shed slash stable walls. Because apparently this thing has stables. Pop out the windows, I don't need the windows. Obviously these go around like that, and then this makes the little courtyard in here, like so think that's the way it's supposed to go around we'll soon find out in a yard wall fold and glue back okie dokie so we've got to fold this little wall back like two there we go Let's get the last two pieces of the glazing in. And then we can do with all the glazing. It's all done and over and done with. And we don't have to worry about it. There we go. Oh. There we go. There we go. And last but not least, let's get these shed windows out. I did just cut them, right? Come on. I think my blade's losing a bit of its edge today. It's a little bit annoying. There we go, windows right now. Don't need that anymore. Right, let's get the shed windows in. Sort them out. So I've got to do these little doors as well. Is there actually some doors to put on that? Or is it just, oh yeah, we've got some little green doors to put on. 
Have I got a back a back gate to put on on here? That's gotta be a back gate, haven't I? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe there isn't a back gate. Maybe it's just got an open open archway. Okay, that's that's fine. I mean, I thought there would be like a little back gate or something. But if there isn't, it's, it's not a big problem. It'd be nice to have a back gate, I suppose. No one's breaking into your into your beer garden. I don't exactly call it a beer garden. It's more like a courtyard, isn't it? So put these in like so. Push them down. Well, they are drying under the mat. Stay. Stay down. We'll cut the shed doors out. And we've got the yard in a wall to do as well. So there we go. Two shed doors. <coughs> green. Metcalf has a thing about green door, doesn't it? Always seems to be green. So we get these in. On there, on there, on there, on there. Get these shed doors. It's actually the little proper little split doors, which are kind of cool. Double check we put them in correctly. It would appear so. Lovely jubbly. Right. Okay. So now we need to do the inner brick wall and then attach it all together to the base. So we've got the inner brick wall here and then we've got the actual roof here. And we have got some chimneys and stuff to do later on as well as naming this pub. Because we've got quite a few little names and I want you guys to pick it for me. Hmm. So I'll probably go with something really boring. I want some input from the people who are watching the stream to pick the name of the pub. So while we're doing this, while, while we're thinking about this, we've got several options we can do. So I'll show you what we've got. We have got the Swan. We've got Black Horse Hotel. We've got the Anchor. We've got the Coach and Horses. So consider all these people. On this sheet, we've, we've got all there again, but we've also got the King's Arms, we've got the Cross Keys, we've got the Red Lion, and the Crown. So, now's your moment to shine, people. <laughs> what am I calling this pub? Out of what I've just said, what should I call it? Hey, pick a name, come on. Pick a name. Any name. First name that I see is getting picked. I'll show you them all again. Got the Coach and Horses. The Black Horse Hotel. The Swan. The Anchor Inn. The King's Arms. The Cross Keys. The Red Lion. Or the Crown. What should we call it? Mm, we'll pick something, please. Tell you what, you guys decide among yourselves. I'll continue building. So, let's get this in a in a yard wall in. Thank. And then this should all nicely wrap around. Boop. Glue that tab back to the walls, apparently. So I've got to glue this little tab back. I forgot to do that. <laughs> that must have to do with fixing it all in place, I guess. So we'll put that on like there. Put that down like that. This comes around on itself to make a building. Ta -da! We have a building. We have an outhouse. I wouldn't exactly call it a stables. 
but it's definitely a little outhouse, which is kind of nice. Kind of does the job. And now what I've got to do is I've got to sort this little wibbly wobbly thing out and put it in here. So how to do this? How to do this without cocking it up? Right. <laughs> glue underneath here on the board on the actual base quite a bit of glue to secure it push it all together and get it in position like so kind of like the fact that the red brick is on the courtyard it's out here and the building's actually white like like a whitewash it's kind of cool and then we'll put the uh, roof on top i think get the roof on let's get the roof on that was the chair kicking get the roof on up there. All right, there we go. Wonderful. Roof is going on. We've nearly got a complete building. Yay. Fun times. Watch this excess glue off. I don't need all that glue on there. Right, look at that. Well, we're doing all right, aren't we, guys? We're doing pretty damn good. Um. Oh, yes. i got to put the wall strip on. All right, okay. So, just to complete that wall, I've got a wall strip to put on. Let's just cut the wall strip out. It's just a bit like a bit of packing really on the top there. So it goes to there. <coughs> it comes out about there. It's just basically to hide the fact that this is a piece of the car stuck together, I think. Oh, it's falling down. No falling down, not allowed. There we go, and that finishes that off pretty nicely, don't you think? I kind of like that. Right. So, this is now the plan. We are going to put on some of the chimney. And actually name this pub. Have we decided on a name yet, guys? Have we decided on what we're going to call this thing? Any ideas? We've got all them signs. Yes, no, maybe. Think about it. All right, we'll put some chimneys on. There we have it. Chimney time. I know, it's exciting, isn't it? So, we've got what looks like three sets of chimneys. I think chimneys are optional, but... Oh, look at all the stuff that's put up. Oh, my neck. Uh, I do like chimneys. Now, usually when you get this sort of stuff, you get some little bolster stuff to put in the chimneys. Just to secure them, but it doesn't look that there's any braces using the chimney brace. There, apparently there's a chimney brace. Where are the chimney braces? Ah, there are the braces. Ah, I see how this works. This is the older style of kit, of course. So this sits on the inside of the chimneys and performs a base for them to stick to. I get it. I get it. I get it. That makes much more sense. That makes much more sense. Okie dokie. So that sticks on the inside of the chimney. Stick it together. Little fiddly. But we can deal with it. Not the end of the world. It's just a bit like what the bay windows did, really. 
stick that together. Hold it all in place nicely. It's a little bit like what we did with the uh, bay windows earlier today. It's not too bad. That's like a, that's pretty quick actually. So where are we having these chimneys? Anyone there? We've got three of them. Might as well make the use of it, right? I don't think there's actually a designated point to put the chimneys. You put them where you like. So I'm thinking of having one at the end of the building, one in the middle, and one in here somewhere, one in the middle. Yeah, I think that would look good with having one towards the end of the building as well, because you'd have one towards the end of the building. Something like there, wouldn't you? You'd have one here. Maybe one like back here somewhere. I've not glued that on yet, obviously. They just, just sat on, just so it's out of the way. Let's get more of these little braces in. Chimney, chimney pot soon. And then we will finish up with the finishing touches. So we are nearly done, people. We are nearly done. There is not a lot left to do on this model. Been a rather interesting build. I mean, how long have we been at it now? Two hours, just over two hours. Well, that's, that's not bad for a building this size. Considering that the first 15 minutes of me was me trying to work out how to use YouTube. <laughs> how to use the live function, should I say. <laughs> and uh, I think we did get disconnected for five minutes because of uh, technical reasons. This isn't just not sticking down, is it? Come on. So I don't think we've done that too bad, to be fair. And we have built a complete model kit, which I'm quite happy with. Oh, that's a good way of doing it. If we just lay it down, I'm using a knife just to push the brace down like so. Leave that to glue together. So let's do the last chimney. And then we'll get the chimneys on. And then all we've got to do is a few chimney pots. And they are an absolute pain in the bum. If anybody's ever done a Metcalf kit, done the chimney pots before, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> you know, wrap them. You got to wrap them. There we go. Chimney down. Chimney, chimney, chimney. Got to have plenty of chimneys for Santa Claus to come down. You know, the boys and girls present on the uh, Christmas Eve to do that. Not that it's anywhere near Christmas right now, it's uh, August. <laughs> At least. If you're watching this live, it's August. If, if you're not watching this live, then it's whatever time of year it is that you are there. <laughs> but you're watching it, I suppose. There we go. Right, let's get these chimneys in place. So let's put this one at the end, I think. I think the one at the end is a good idea. Put some glue on. Just a little spot of glue. Let's have one in the middle here. Perfect mundo. There we go. I just put little spots of glue in, just a little, just a little, little triangle bit, just to hold it in place. Doesn't need to be perfect, just so it's holding it in place. Put one there, and let's put one. Would you say about? I would. I say at the middle wouldn't make sense, but about over here, or there, at the very end. At the very end, I think would look nice. At the very end would make sense. Unless it's like the end room, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of like that. We're getting somewhere. Woo! Right, next step is to put on our chimney pots. Oh, which is the fun part. <laughs> so we've got the chimney tops, which are different to put on. You've got to build these up in three layers 
which is what I'm just cutting out now. Trust me, it'll make sense in a moment. So we've got medium, small and large. So the mediums, so we've got the large on and they go on first. And they literally just cover the top of the chimney like that. And it says large top on the top, look. How nice. Uh, next large one. Do, do, do. On top there. Next large one. On the top there. Come on, stay on. Beautiful. As for the medium ones. Now this is where it gets really fiddly. Put a little bit of glue. A little splodge of glue each of these because we're going to build these up i'm only using a tiny tiny drop of glue i'm using these build these up like little pyramids like so there's a medium top and this will sit on top of that one Just gives it a tiny little bit of texture. And then finally at the back. There we go. And then we've got these bits, which are the small bits with the black bits on, little, 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 little black bars, and that just emulates where the Chimney pots are going to sit. Ooh, that's a little bit too much glue on that one. There we go. That's a little bit too much glue on that one, but that should be all right. It'll look all right eventually. You're not going to see it from miles away anyway. Building is going towards the rear of the building. Rear of the building. Rear of the railway. It's going to the rear of the building, everybody, is this building. But I don't know, little details are kind of cool. There we go. That look kind of cool. Yay! Right, now what's next? So I put the chimney pots on. Oh, there is actually a gate for the yard. Huh. Oh well, we've got a hole. It's fine, I don't care. <laughs> I just saw it there on the instruction sheet. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> right, now there is a wind, there is a sign bracket here, which is this thing here, which goes on the front and it holds one of the signs so we need to make a decision what this thing is called can someone please tell me in the comments what we have decided as a group we are calling our pub anyone please tell in the comments now what we're calling the pub Or do I have to pick? I only want you guys to pick. Like, I really want you guys to pick. <laughs> I 
Okay. Well, okay. I think we should go with a nice name. What should we call it? Hmm. Well, let's think about heart failure for a moment. What is heart failure known for? Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. Okay. I think we're going to call it... These are the hanging signs, so I think we're going to call it the swan. I think the swan would be a good name, don't you think? Yeah, the swan. Let's call it the swan. Why not? Let's call it the swan. Swans are nice birds. I mean, my favourite bird is an owl. I'm not going to lie, my favourite birds are owls. I love owls. They are beautiful, beautiful birds. In fact, we have two that live out front of my house. And uh, two are barn owls. They're beautiful, beautiful birds. I love them to bits. Favourite ever, favourite ever animals. But uh, this one is, well, I'll do it. I can't call it the owl because I don't have one that says the owl on it. Right, so if I remember rightly, this goes here. So, to pop out the bracket, you've got to cut out the interior of this thing. Come on, out you come. It's a little bit fiddly at times, I'm going to give you. But... And then this glues back on itself, would you believe it? I know, that kind of Glues back on itself, take a black bracket. I'll try and line it up a bit better because that's a bit naff. That is going to attack to our side of our building and have the swan sign from the bottom. I'm also going to cut the swan out and put it on the front here. So this should be fun, attaching this to that. Right, do, do, do. there we go. We attach the sign to the bracket. Trying not to mess this up. It's very sticky. There we go. I am just going to literally leave this somewhere to dry, I think. It's more or less nearly dried. Um, and then we have to touch this to the side of the building. We'll do that in a minute. I'm going to leave that over there just to, just to, just to dry while we cut out the swan signs. Yay, we decided on a name. Well, I decided on a name because <laughs> I can't see anybody else's comments. <laughs> right. And these little signs we shall attach to the front of the building and probably the side of the building as well. It's, uh, Let's make it look nice, shall we? Didn't quite cut all the way through on them, so I'll just go through them again. It's quite a thick cardboard. It doesn't have to be this thick, but it is for some reason. Ah, there we go, there's one out. Right, okay. I'm going to attach that to the front up here. So it's out of the way. This one. Go down to Swan for a couple of drinks tonight, lads. Yeah, all right then. I'll go down to Swan. So, now, we've got to think about this because right now, 
we know that this area is going to be exposed. So we can put another sign on that side. Makes sense to me. We could put one on this side, but I don't, there's not really any much room on this side really. But there's plenty of room to put one in the middle there. This is where the children's playground is going to be, by the way, for the school. So makes sense to have one on this wall. Just about there. There we go. That's nice. Nicely done. Right, let's do these dreaded chimney pots. And once the chimney pots and this bracket are finished, which I'm just going to put on now. Put a bit of glue there and a bit of glue there. This is the fun part, getting this to stick properly. This is going to be hanging off the edge of the side of the building. So once this has attached the side, a bit like that, that's pretty cool. Do not fall off, do not fall off. We will be doing those dreaded chimney pots. Now chimney pots are very, very, very strange and that stuff. So let's crack on and get the chimney pots done. Um, two, four, six, we need six chimney pots. And Metcalf has given us how many attempts? They've given us eight attempts. Oh, thanks Metcalf, you, you got two wrong then you screwed. Luckily I've got extras, which is fine. So chimney pots are made of paper. And what you've got to do is you've got to roll them around a screwdriver or some sort of circular object like a pencil or something like that. I usually use a little screwdriver for my to view. Um, I have shown you this before on the channel actually about doing the chimney pots like this. So we've got enough here to do two chimneys at least. So what you do is you cut them down or you, now I would recommend using scissors instead of a knife because this is paper not card or plastic and it's easy to do it with scissors yep really is so we get a end of a paintbrush i think is that going to be a bit too thick i think that should be okay and what you do is you put a little dab of glue on the end at least i do not too much, and then you literally roll the paintbrush around and around and around and around and around. So you roll the chimney pots around. Around the paintbrush to get the circular shape. Pull it off, ta-da, chimney pot. And then all you do is attach that to the top of the building and I like to use the tweezers to do this just so that it stays secure so you can make little movements without really damaging them so that was actually pretty that was actually a fairly decent one that one actually to be fair so many more have I got to do I've got another few more to do hey no falling off put a little bit on there and around we go. Now I've done this a lot of times. There's an alarm going off for some reason. I don't know what that was for. I got rid of it. I've done this lots and lots and lots of times because I've done it many, many times on the other cat kits on the railway. So I'm pretty quick at this, but it might take a little while to get to get it done, especially when it's uh, quite fiddly. So we'll admit it is fiddly. It's fiddly, and that's what you get. It just it's just fiddly. No other word put about it. Is that a chimney? That's not a chimney pot. Where's the other one gone? Seem to have lost one already. What a surprise. And they do like to wander off. Right. Oh, yep. I better put some glue on here. 
do, 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 do. The song is in my head now. There we go. Let's get that onto the building. Did I? Where's the other chimney pot disappeared? So has it gone under the base or something? The sun sign keeps falling off, so that's annoying me. No, it's just it's just it's just scuppered. Oh, well, what a shame. I'll just cut the other ones out. There we go. All right, we'll do one at a time this time so that we don't lose any more. We are nearly done, people. Just a couple of chimney pots to go, and we have finished this build. There's a few little minor details which I'm not going to do really on camera, like you know, it's like a little few minor things that I would do to of my own card, like add a few little details here and there. But um, I'm getting the basic model built first. And I'll show you the DLs that I added later on a different video, I think. Probably one of the update videos or something like that coming out probably sometime next week now. There we go. And there's another chimney pot on the building. Come on. Easy does it. Two more and we're done, boys and girls. Two more. Put a little bit of glue on there. This glue does dry quite clear, so I tend to put quite a little, quite a bit on when I'm doing the pots up top, just so that they're secure, because they are quite delicate at times so again just wrapping the paper around around a paintbrush or you can use a screwdriver or a tiny pencil or whatever you can use whatever you like to make it like different thickness so if you use a bit of a thicker brush or a thicker screwdriver to make it a little bit thicker you can do it that way I mean, this is about right, these little these smaller brush types because they're just easier. It's a little bit fiddly getting on here, though. There we go. That sign is annoying me because it keeps falling down. The glue in there. There we go. Put that one to the side. I'm going to need one more on this. Nearly done, people. Nearly done. Just wrapping it round. And in position. Well, would you look at that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed it. Well, we've completed most of it. There's a few little details, like I said, that I'm still going to put on off of camera, because there's a few things like there's the edges to put on like that. There's a little bench that you can put outside, and like some little details. But I'm not going to do that on live stream, because that's just really boring. <laughs> and we've only used a tiny bit of glue. Like, we've literally used, what, centimetres worth of glue from that bottle. And there we have it. The Metcalf Coaching Inn, now known as 
the Swan, which will be taking Plyde Place opposite the church on Hartfield Railway. And done it in under two and a half hours, which that's not too bad. That isn't too bad at all. That's not too bad at all. I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. So, I want to thank you all very much for joining me. Um, I've seen that people have been commenting. I'm going to make sure that I can actually read comments when I'm doing this next time because I have to keep looking at my phone and uh, they only appear for a few seconds. But uh, thanks for joining me. It's been a pleasure spending this morning with you. Uh, I hope that you all have a pleasant and wonderful, wonderful weekend. Go run some trains, have some fun. I'll be finishing the little details and getting this in position. Um, don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button as well. Yeah, please, please do subscribe if you haven't already. I do like it when people subscribe. It means that I'm bringing out content that you want to see. It means that I like to show you. And uh, for my first ever live stream downstairs, this was actually a pretty good success. I've learned a lot. I've, um, I've enjoyed it. And uh, we've built a beautiful model. Right, guys. Until next time, uh, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next video.